When starting a new project, the first thing to do is decide how to begin the start. Often it's marked on the pattern, but sometimes not, and I'd like to show you three different ways to start at the beginning of this piece. So the first point is we need to decide where to start. We can't start here, it's too close to the tally. Here wouldn't give us enough. Here would help us be in place, but if we started here, we would then have one, two, three stitches before we get to the tally. So on this side, we know that we want to start at this point. Well, in the middle, because we need to go into a plait here and be able to come over to here, we need to start at this point. On the foot side, you can see that if we started here, we have the same problem as on the curve. So we're going to start up here. So we actually have from here to here, we join into this plait, and then we can go into the tally. So first, we're going to start at the highest point in the middle here. And this particular start is a windmill start. We're going to hang a temporary pin two temporary pins with rainbow or straddle around the temporary pins. So let's look at the piece. Looking at this piece, you can see that I have the point right above the plait, but I don't want to put a pin in there. I want to place two temporary pins. So I'll put one temporary pin above and a second temporary pin above. And on each temporary pin, I'm going to place two pairs. So one pair around the first pin, the second pair around the first pin, rainbow. So it's on the outside. I go to the second pin, one pair around the second pin, the second pair around the second pin. rainbow. Now we're going to do a windmill. So with a windmill, each pair is considered to be one thread. So we'll do a cross. Then we need to do a twist. So we pick up the two pairs and twist them. Now we need to put a pin and that pin actually goes in the pinhole. And then you do a cross. So if I very gently remove my temporary pins, two, and pull those pairs down, I have it right around the pin. The pattern says the left-hand side is a plait. If you need to, you can actually place something on the other side of the pin so that it won't go anywhere. So if I'm worried that I can't hold my bobbins still enough, I can place a bar underneath my bobbins. I'm going to place it out here just because I don't feel like shortening the pairs. Now I have enough tension on the left. I'm pulling it and it's not going anywhere. And I can do my cross, twist, cross. So at the beginning of a plait, I have a cross stitch and then a twist, cross, tensioning the outside and then the inside twist, cross, outside, inside. So if we do a twist, cross, a twist, cross, until we're at the end of the plait. We can now set that aside. I don't need to do anything with, with it. And we will move on to the next start.